I'm here at Chicksands Wood in Bedfordshire testing out the specialised Turbo Levo FSR women's specific design. The bike comes equipped with a 650B 3 inch wheel, wheel set, um, purgatory tyres which are very familiar to those of you that know specialised. Um, they're really good on most terrain, um, great for cornering, um, they go over roots, they go through mud, really quick clearance through mud as well. Not bad rolling resistance on the road either which is another added bonus when you're pushing slightly wider wheels. Uh, you can see the big rotor there in the middle, um, gives you awesome stopping power um, and that's through the SRAM DB5 setup, the brake system there which having been a Shimano lover, I've usually got Shimano XTR I'm actually really really impressed with the SRAM DB5s um, they break fantastically uh, looking down towards the shocks you've got the RockShox Revelation um, which gives you 120mm of travel on the front there and as you go towards the back you can see the Fox Float rear shock which gives you 140mm of travel and then you've got the really nice linkage system there um, familiar with again the specialised um, design um, you can see as you go further back another link system there um, and the old recognised FSR sign there um, now looking down towards the bottom bracket you've got the motor which sits really nicely there um, and as ever on a specialised bike um, you've got a really low slung bottom bracket which helps with really getting down and low into the corners gives you a great um, centre of balance going into corners um, can get a little bit of pedal strike um, certain terrain um, you kind of get used to that and um, manage to I managed to avoid it quite successfully uh, moving further up the frame and you can see the LED lights that shows you how much battery life there is and if I press this button here that's in eco mode you press it again, puts you into trail mode, press again and that puts you into full turbo mode and those are the three different settings because this is an e-bike believe it or not. So you go back down, I'd stick it in trail for coming up the woods, um, when it goes back to the 10 LEDs that shows you how much battery life you've got so this is fully charged ready to go. There's a really neat battery fitted into the frame there. Um, the actual battery fits into the frame itself making it really neat compared to a lot of the e-bikes which carry a big hefty battery on the frame which then means you can't have a bottle cage and things like that another nice feature is this and basically what that does is it stops your forks from smacking onto the frame um, and just protects the forks a little bit as well so just a nice little neat design um, you've got cabling internal routed which again gives you nice clean lines along the frame um, the bike's based on the stump jumper which gives it a lovely geometry um, very slack head tube um, very short stem and really wide bars which really help um, get those bigger wheels turning um, fantastic my only criticism about the bike is it doesn't come with the dropper seat post um, I personally like the Thompson um, Elite and I use that on my other bikes and I would change the saddle but again that's just down to personal, personal preference. Riding with flats again another thing for personal preference. Uh, you've got Revell wheels which fantastic setup um, on this kind of bike. The bike is very heavy but once you get rolling um, you don't really notice the weight but it comes in at nearly 60 pounds. Um, so it is a fair old weight to shift around. Um, it's great through single track, um, it's great through mud, uh, roots, downhill, um, but yeah you can just really throw this bike around and have a really really good fun with it. Highly recommend it.